This is the examination of the hidden human condition. You're listening to the Hidden Killers Podcast. This is the Hidden Killers Podcast with Tony Bruschi. The light of day, the street where Microsoft executive Jared Bridegan was murdered more than a year ago appears to be much like any other in Florida. The echoes of that tragic event, however, linger as Shanna Gardner Fernandez the ex-wife of the deceased and wife of the man charged with the murder, seeks to distance herself from her incarcerated husband, Mario Enrique Fernandez Saldana. The complex web of relationships underscored by an official statement from the family-owned company. The company that's owned... by Shanna Gardner Fernandez's mother, stamping up where Shanna is employed. They acknowledge that Mario, Shanna's current husband, is under arrest and that the couple has been separated for an extended period of time. Beyond these facts, the company provides no details, emphasizing their lack of insight beyond what has been reported in the media. Stamping up! has refrained from commenting further on the ongoing investigation into the murder of Jared Bridegan. And that's expected. It's a company. Companies don't necessarily need to make statements about a private family member. But it is one of the only statements that we've seen coming from the direction of Jared's ex-wife, other than her new husband being arrested for murder. Lots of questions remain, wondering what did Shanna Gardner Fernandez know and when, if anything. On March 16th, the severity of the case against Fernandez Saldana was made very clear. He was indicted for first-degree murder, conspiracy to commit first-degree murder, solicitation to commit a capital felony, and child abuse in connection with Bride Against Killing, the details of the murder are chilling, with Bridegan found fatally shot just steps away from his vehicle. Police reports indicate that he was shot four times, turning an ordinary street into the scene of a violent crime and murdered in front of his daughter, who was in the car seat in the back. Bridegan was on his way home from his ex-wife's residence when this happened, so, well, he knew where he was, where he just dropped off their twin daughters. His journey was interrupted by a tire lying in the road. It was when he exited his vehicle to inspect the obstruction that he was killed, leaving his two-year-old daughter unharmed but undoubtedly traumatized in the back seat of that vehicle. However, Fernandez Saldana is not the only person implicated in this horrific crime. Henry Tennant, a former tenant of Fernandez Saldana, has also been charged in connection to Bridegan's murder. He faces counts of conspiracy to commit murder, second-degree murder with a weapon, accessory after the fact to a capital felony, and child abuse. Tennant has since admitted to second-degree murder and is set to testify against Fernandez Saldana at the actual trial. State attorney Melissa Nelson revealed a key piece of information at a press conference stating that there's a single link between Jared Bridegan and Henry Tennant, Mario Fernandez Saldana. This raises questions about the relationships and circumstances leading up to this tragic event. Amidst all of this, Shannon Garner Fernandez has been steadfast in denying her involvement in Bridegan's murder. When questioned about her past marriage with Bridegan in June of 2022, in an interview, she chose to remain silent, referring to their union, which began in 2010, and subsequent divorce as bitter. For the family of Jared Bridegan, the arrest of Fernandez Saldana brings a modicum of relief. Kristen Bridegan, Jared's widow, expressed a mix of relief and anger, glad the two suspects and her husband's murder are now behind bars, but furious that they enjoyed freedom while her family grappled with their loss. She laments the future memories, vacations, and tender moments with their children that Jared has been robbed of. Authorities have not released any additional information regarding the case, which remains open and active. 
just now sitting with a trial looming. Possibly more charges to be made. Will Shanna Gardner Fernandez truly be able to walk away from this with no one pointing a finger at her or charges being filed against her? Looks more than suspicious when your new husband is the one who kills your ex-husband. You're locked into the Hidden Killers podcast. Want more? Start binging on all of our true crime podcasts right now through Apple Podcasts and get an ad-free experience when you sign up to be a True Crime Today Premium Plus member exclusively on Apple Podcasts. More of the Hidden Killers podcast dropping soon. Press subscribe now.